out of this world. Take a look. And I am here now with Sarah Guthels, who is uh, Dr. Sarah Guthels, I should say, Principal Program Manager with uh, 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 Microsoft. And Sarah, what are we going to be talking about today? How are you? Good. I'm great. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. I'm great. It's great to see you. I wish that we could be together in person. Um, but I understand I we're going to be, so you do a lot of stuff with teaching uh, people to code and you do a lot of stuff, you know, on our academic team and, and you do a, a bunch of Twitch streams and stuff. And so talk to me, what are we going to be talking about? Because I understand that NASA is involved. Yes. Um, which I'm, I'm super excited about. Uh, Basically, my passion is teaching folks to code um, so that they can solve problems that are interesting to them. And I got the opportunity this summer with an intern to build three new learning paths on Microsoft Learn, inspired by the types of problems that NASA scientists and engineers deal with every single day when they're trying to launch, um, you know, a crude space rockets into space onto the International Space Station uh, to the moon in 2024, or also just launching new satellites or just, you know, data collection rockets or things like that. Um, the types of problems that they're trying to solve and how software and data science and code can play a role in those. Um, so basically, I just want to chat with you a little bit about why we think these types of lessons are fun and important um, and the kinds of things that we're coming up with soon. I love it. I love it. And this is so great. And I love that this came out of working with an intern because I think that's even better. Like, I think that that really just adds so much to this Microsoft Learn experience and just the general learning experience, right? Like, it really is awesome that yeah. an intern was involved. So talk to me a little bit about, like, so, so you said, you know, this is about trying to figure out like the types of problems that people, you know, in NASA would would want to solve. And and talk to me a little bit about how this learning path works and, and what the approach is like for people who are not rocket scientists, right? But but want to yeah. still kind of get a feel for how to solve those kinds of problems and also, you know, learn a new skill at the same time. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think what I've seen, so, you know, I was a part of the initial everyone should learn to code, not to become developers necessarily, but just so that they understand how software plays a role in their own life, whatever pathway they choose. Yeah, and, code is literacy, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And what I've seen in the recent years, um, the last like two maybe years, is data science is becoming kind of that next wave. Data is, is just everywhere. We're collecting it, we're consuming it, we're seeing it, it informs so much of our digital world and therefore our physical world. And what I wanted to do was try to find a way to incorporate the you know learning and understanding of data science and particularly as it relates to coding. So, you know, using Python to clean and analyze and, and build machine learning models and things like that. Um, but how could we do that in a way that's inspirational and not just like, oh, you know, you've got this fake business and you're trying to make more money, which <laughs> yeah, that's a real problem. Um, but also, you know, like Real rocket scientists are using data to figure out how we can safely launch rockets into space. And what I have found with NASA, I mean, you know, I'm I'm a huge NASA nerd. I've got these um, women yes. of NASA Legos. They're just my favorite things ever. Um, Those are my favorites I, too. I love I them. Feel like, aren't they? They're just I I yeah. I absolutely love it. I finally broke down and let my daughter open them, and we we built them together. Um, rather than keeping them in the box, which they shouldn't be. Um, but it's exactly that, right? Like NASA is the definition of thinking out of the box, right? NASA is the inspiration and not necessarily just NASA, but space exploration, right? It's, it's going beyond what we ever thought was possible. And when I'm teaching, whether it's a, you know, a kid to code, I mean, I was actually just teaching my, my two-year-old to, to do some scratch junior stuff, which was fun. <laughs> but if I'm teaching a, a, a kid to code or I'm teaching an adult who is looking for a career change to code, you know, it's not about um, having them do a particular thing. It's about opening up their box and having them see that the things that inspire them and that give them passion and, and just excitement that code can just help accentuate that. And, you know, also data science. And so I got really, really excited when I found out that we were able to partner with NASA because I got to speak with actual rocket scientists and actual, you know, folks who, who solve these just 
out of the box problems um, to be able to to expel humanity into space. And and that was just so inspirational. And that's really what's behind these lessons is that kind of inspiration and and out of the box thinking and 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 just, yeah, let's learn some base, basic Python. Let's learn how to iterate through a list in Python. That's awesome. But we can do it by thinking about, you know, iterating through space rocks. Um, mm. You know, let's use let's use. Uh, image classification with with AI to analyze space rocks. Um, you know, it doesn't have to just be whether it's a cat or a dog. As as fun as those are, and I and I do those still too. Um, you know, why why not do something even more out of this world? No, I, I love it. I love it. I couldn't agree more. Right, and it, you're you're completely right. Like the is this a hot dog is a great demo, but this is this is more fun. This is again kind of getting out of this world exactly as you said, which is perfect. Yeah. Um, and so, how, where where can people go to to uh, play with these lessons and to get started and to you know learn this stuff? Yeah. So first of all, you don't need to have any coding experience at all. You can head over to aka.ms/learninspace where you're going to find all of the lessons that we created this summer. So for example, at the very top, first you're going to find some Visual Studio Code learning links. Uh, so if you want to learn how to do other things in Visual Studio Code as well, you can click on those. We also have some NASA STEM engagement site links. Uh, so if you want to do other NASA-inspired lessons, not necessarily just coding, you can check those out. And we also have a link to other Microsoft Learn student learning paths and modules. So if you're a novice, whether you're a student or not, and you wanna learn how to code or do some AI or machine learning, you can check those out too. And then here at the very top, we have our three learning paths that we created. We have an introduction to Python with the inspiration of, of NASA and space exploration. We also have an AI type lesson where you're going to be classifying space rocks to determine what type they are. And then we're, we also have a basic data science machine learning lesson where you're going to be using simple data science and machine learning practices to determine whether or not a rocket would launch, <laughs> whether it's a good time to launch or if it might be delayed. That's so fascinating. Like, I really, really love thinking about, even as you're just describing, like, these learning paths and what these challenges are, like, I'm thinking about these logistical, you know, questions that I never even would have considered that this is what, you know, people, this is what astronauts are trying to solve every day, right? Like, yeah. but, but these things, I think it's so smart that you are starting with this approach of space and NASA, which is so interesting to so many people, but these lessons could be extrapolated to so many other types of things too, right? Like, exactly. like, like the data, like the weather example is a great one. That's the sort of thing where you're having to take, you know, massive data sets from the past and predictions of the future so that you can set, okay, when are we going to, to set our launch date, right? And, and, and it, yeah, yeah. Might, it might not work. We might still have to push, but this is, this is where we're trying to get the, the best information we can. And that could be really useful for somebody who has a different type of problem to solve, right? Like if, yeah. if you are doing more traditional agriculture or if you are somebody exactly. who's like looking at some other thing that has lots of dependencies. And so I yeah. love this approach because you're really, I think, using something like space, which as you know, like I'm a big NASA, huge NASA person too. I don't know many people who aren't interested in space to yeah. think about these these lessons that could be used in many other contexts too. Exactly, exactly. And that's really what we want to do, right? We want to inspire folks to take these out of the world examples and bring them back to things that they care about and that they're passionate about and that affect their lives. Um, so we hope that's what we do. I love it. I love it. This is so exciting. So people can get started. They can go to aka.ms slash learn in space, learn in space, and um, they can go through the learning paths. They can, um, uh, it, it's it's free. The first lessons are free. Um, if you're a student um, or, you know, you can use an Azure free trial to get started. This is a great exactly. start. And are you going to be working on, we've only got a, got a few seconds left, but are you going to be working on anything else in the future? Oh my gosh. There's a lot, a lot of other stuff coming. Um, we've got a lot of really exciting partnerships coming down the line, more lessons with NASA and space exploration coming. So if you care about data or learning to code, um, you know, if you are a career changer or you are a student, um, whoever you are, you're welcome. And I can't wait to see you and help you on your journey. Amazing, amazing. Sarah, thank you so, so much. And everybody check out aka.ms slash learn in space.